Welcome to Channel Shifting Effects. In this video, we'll take a look at using the Channel Mix Top and the Reorder Top. To get started, let's add a Movie File In Top. And we are going to right click and add a Channel Mix Top right after it. The Chan Mix Top is a handy operator because it allows us to mix our RGB8 input values into any other channel on output. So we can understand this Chan Mix parameter window by looking at each of these columns as R, G, B, and A. And so here we have our red values in our red channel, our green values in our green channel, our blue values in our blue channel, and so forth. If we were to remove our red values from our red channel, we would see that we no longer have any red anywhere here, and our banana is now green. If I removed all of my green, we would see that all we have is blue and alpha. We can go ahead and reset our banana so we have all of our colors back. And let's go ahead and see how we can use this channel mix to create an RGB effect. So. First up, let's go to our movie file in and let's change this to our count MOV. Great. So I'm going to move my channel mix over because in between these two operators, I want to insert a cache top. Our cache top here is super helpful because it allows us to store a sequence of images into memory. By default, our cache size is set to 32. And if you wanted to increase your cache size, you could change that. For now, I'm going to just leave it at 32. Great. Now, what I want to do is I want to create an RGB effect. So I want to have shifting kind of colors. Um, and I'm going to use my cache top with some cache selects to do that. So I'm going to double click on the network and add a cache select top. I'm going to drag my cache onto my cache select, and then I am going to change the cache index to negative 10 so that we can look for images that are 10 frames in the past. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And for my next cache select, I am going to set that to negative 20. If I pause my network, I can actually see that each of these cache tops are 10 frames behind each other. So 96, 86, and 76, which is what we want. Great. So now we're going to use our Chan mix to create that RGB effect. So I am going to copy and paste my Chan mix so that each of my caches has a Chan mix. Perfect. For my, red, my first Chan Mix, I want this to be my red channel. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the green and remove the blue. So all I have is red in this first Chan Mix. In my second Chan Mix, I am going to remove the green and remove the blue. So it's all green. And then my third one, I'm going to remove the red and remove the green. And now I have blue. So I have my red, green, and blue. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and double click so I can add a constant, uh, sorry, a composite top. And we're going to go ahead, box select all of our Chan mixes and drag those in to our composite top. On our composite top, we're going to set that to add. Now we can see we are adding all of these Chan mixes together and have that RGB splitting effect. We could create a similar effect using a reorder top. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I am going to box select my movie file in, my cache, and my cache selects. Oh, and I forgot to click copy. I'm going to box select them, click copy or control C, and then I'm going to control V just to paste them here in my network. So this is the starting point for being able to use a reorder. But with a reorder, we can have less operators, which is always nice. So rather than having all of this going on here at the end with our Chan Mix and our composite, we are just going to add our reorder. Our first cache is going to go into our first input. Our cache select 
will go into our second input. And then our final cash select will go into our third input. Now what we want to do is on our reorder, we want our output red to come from our first input. So we want our red data to come from our first cash select. Great. For our green values, we actually want that to come from our second input. And then our last input, that third cash select, that's going to be our third input here. So output blue. So it's going to be our red, our green, and our blue. And now we can see we've created that same effect with just using a reorder. So we can achieve the same effect using these two operators. The only important thing to know and the difference between these two techniques is that the reorder top will pull whole channel values of data for its output. So you don't really have any fine grain control here like you do on the channel mix. On the channel mix, you're able to do partial values or float values. So here I could do 0.5. I could also manipulate this a little bit more to tweak how I wanted to mix my channels. And so there's a bit more control using channel mix. If you want to work quickly though, and you know you just want to move whole values for your output, you can definitely use a reorder. The last thing I want to show you here is back on our movie file in. I am going to change this to a nature video. I'm going to use the in the nature folder, the movie two, just so we can see what that effect looks like on a different video. So here we have this nice kind of subtle movement, this RGB splitting, and it's a really kind of fun technique that you could use on an interactive piece. Someone could be moving in front of a camera and then you could see that really fun splitting effect or you could use it on a more subtle uh, kind of image or video. So that is just a couple of different ways that we can look at channel shifting RGB effects.